Hi, I'm Samira Ade, a portrait artist based in London, and welcome to my studio. I've been in the studio for about two and a half years now, and I absolutely love it. I'm in the heart of Brixton, so it's always buzzing, um, and yeah, I have, always have a lot of energy around me, um, which is good for keeping the motivation up. A typical day in the life of Samira in the studio consists of coming in, um, I usually put music on, I love painting to music, um, I feel like it's a real good energy boost and I like having little dance sessions or um, yeah helping me, I, I feel like it really helps me to um, zone out and zone into painting um, and I do feel like sometimes it's reflected in my pieces actually, um, maybe the dynamics of, of the brush strokes perhaps. One of the paintings leaning against the wall is of um, a lady that I met on a, a trip to Jordan. I just felt her image was really compelling and um, just the strength of expression. I would say one of the key inspirations to my work is um, expressions and what you can read from them. What does the face tell you? Um, if anything, how subtle is it? Is it really obvious? What stories can you bring um, to the face that you're looking at? Um, so that is the key inspiration. And then from that, I get I get color choices and even approach to style. I sit in front of my painting for a while and I absorb and I try to figure out the next way forward. I, I try to figure out the next steps. Um, what am I going to do next? What does the painting need? Um, and you'll see from the video tour, the current work in progress on my easel is in the very beginning stage, but I've done the sketch. I, start, I usually sketch in pencil, charcoal or paints, depending on how much I want the sketch to feature in the final piece. And sometimes I don't know, but if I do, I make it very intentional. So yeah, the painting at the moment is work in progress stage at the beginning. So it's got the sketch and I'm mapping in the uh, main colors and blocks and tones. I would say even though my portraits are relatively consistent in the sense that you may be able to tell that the same artist has done them, I do try to approach it slightly differently. Some portraits have more of a sketch type feel, some actually have more drawing within them, some are more abstracted and all of these things are choices that I make based on the subject, um, the character of the subject and the expression of the image. And because I work largely from photos, if not, yeah, mostly from photos, it gives me that freedom to explore different expressions and different energies of my portrait that you may not be able to get from a, a live sitting situation. Along the fine lines of uh, abstraction and realism, um, I sometimes enjoy making or feeling like I'm making um, the audience work to figure out the face. I mean, some some of them are quite obvious, but um, I like that sense that if you look up close, you may not be able to tell it's a face. It's just when you get a bit of distance, um, you can see the face kind of coming together.